this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Google Forms to create an assessment for our students. Begin by signing in to your Google Apps for Education account. And let's visit the Google Forms website. Tap on the blue button in the middle of the page to create your form. Within Google Forms, we can begin with one of the many templates provided by Google. These include templates for assessments and exit tickets, evaluations, contact information, all sorts of different pre-built forms that you can go in and edit. Or we can select a blank template. Let's begin by naming our form and adding a description. And now we can begin with the first question. I like to make the first question an identifier so I know which student is which. So I'm going to make the first question first name. Of course that can't be a multiple choice question so I'm going to drop down this menu and select short answer. And I want this to be required so that students must answer it. I'd also like to know last name. So I'm going to duplicate this question using this icon right here and simply change first to last. Now, we're going to be using a tool called Fluberoo to automatically grade this assessment. Fluberoo also has the ability to send an email to each student letting them know what their score was and what they got wrong. But in order for that to work, the form needs to include student email addresses. So I'm going to add another question so that students have an opportunity to record their email address. Let's duplicate this question and then change last name to email. Now that I've got my identifiers in place, I can begin with the actual content of the quiz. Let's start with the plus button here and we'll add a multiple choice question. When I'm done with that question, I'm going to make it required and then duplicate it to add another multiple choice question. Now I'd like to add a short answer question. So I'm going to tap on the plus button and change multiple choice to short answer. I'm going to make that question required and then add another one. I can either use the plus button or the duplicate button. Since my next one is going to be short answer as well, I'll use duplicate. And then I simply change the question. And then maybe I'll do a couple more multiple choice. Notice I can also use different question types, including paragraph for longer answers, short answers, checkboxes, dropdowns, scales, grids, and even time and date questions. Now that I've created all the content for my quiz, there's a few other settings we can look at before sharing it with students. I can control the appearance of the quiz using the color palette. I can preview it using the eye icon. Here's what it'll look like for students. And I can control some settings using the cog icon. In these settings, I can control who can respond. I typically like to open it up to anyone in the world. The reason I do that is because then students don't have to be logged into their school accounts in order to take it. I can also change the message they will see when they complete the quiz. By default, it simply says your response has been recorded. I'm going to change that to nice work. I can also include a link to submit another response, but I don't want students to do this quiz more than once, so I'm going to turn that off. I don't want them to be able to edit their responses or to see a summary of other responses, so I'm going to leave all of those unchecked. I do, however, want them to see a progress bar so they can tell how far along they are as they go. I'm not going to shuffle questions for this quiz, though I do have that option. When I'm ready, tap Save. Now that it's saved, 
I need to do some work to get ready for the responses. That is to say, I need to set up a place where all of the students' answers are going to go. Now built into Google Forms is this tab right here called Responses, and this is where you would be able to see all of the students' work. However, we also have an option to create a spreadsheet, a Google Sheet, that will accumulate all student responses. Now if we want to use this tool called Fluberoo to grade these quizzes, we have to have a spreadsheet. So I'm going to tap on this small green icon to set up my spreadsheet. All I need to do is create a new spreadsheet and give it a name and tap on the Create button. Notice I have some other options here. I can choose to get an email every time somebody responds. I can choose where the responses are going to go, unlink this form from that response sheet, or even download those responses in a spreadsheet format. I can also delete all responses at any time if I want to. Now, let's take a look at that spreadsheet. So I'm going to tap on that icon and it brings me over into Google Sheets. And you'll see here is the spreadsheet that I created and the headers for each column are all of the different questions for my quiz. Notice there's no data in the spreadsheet now because no one has yet taken the quiz. So what I'm going to do is take a minute and pretend I'm a group of different students and I'm going to take the quiz so that we can see what their results look like. I've gone out and taken the quiz five times, as if I were five different students. Now I'm back in the form editor here, and I notice that I now have five responses. I can view those responses from right within forms, as either a summary of each question, with pie charts to show me who chose what for the multiple choice questions, or I can see the individual responses by each student. But because I want my grades to be automatically generated, I need to view the responses in the Google Sheet that I created. So I'm going to head over to Google Sheets. And you'll notice that that sheet has been populated with each of the students' responses to all of the questions. Now, I could certainly go through here and I can sort each column if I'm interested to see all the different data that I can get from this. Or I can use this add-on that's called Fluberoo to automatically grade the student's work. Let's take a look at how we can do that. Fluberoo is an add-on to Google Sheets. That means it's not there by default. We have to install it. And I can do that using the add-ons menu on the top of the screen. I can select Get Add-ons. And in the add-ons pane, I can search for Fluberoo. and I can tap on the blue button to install it into my Google Sheets. You'll have to allow Fluberoo to access your account, which will let it install. You'll know it installed when you get a small pop-up window on the top of the screen telling you you've added it. Now, when I tap on that add-ons menu, I have a menu item for Fluberoo, and I have a button that says Grade Assignment. Now I have one more step I need to complete before I can do the grading, and that is I need to make an answer key so that Fluberoo knows what the correct answer should be. So I'm going to open up a new window, and I'm going to take this quiz myself. I'd like to give it some identifying characteristics so I know it's the key. So for first name, I'm going to type answer, and for last name, I'm going to type key. And then for email, you can put in whatever email you want. And then take the quiz, being sure to enter all the correct answers. Once you've completed the quiz, you can go back into the spreadsheet, and you should see that response right there. You see answer key, and those are all the correct answers. So now I'm ready to grade my assignment. So I'll go into the Add-ons menu and Fluberoo and Grade Assignment. I have to do a little bit of setting up, including making sure that Fluberu has identified the categories and the columns correctly. For example, the question first name, that's an identifier, so that shouldn't be graded by Fluberu. Same with last name and the email address. Those aren't questions we want Fluberu to grade. Down here, we can select 
whether we want everything else to be normally graded, we can skip the grading or grade it by hand. I'm going to leave it as normal grading. We can also assign a point value to each of the questions. So if you want one question to count more than others, you can make it a higher point value. I'm going to leave everything as one point for now. Then tap the blue continue button. Now we need to select which set of answers should be used as the answer key. So I'm going to scroll down and select the answer key that I created and tap the blue button. Flubrew has graded my assignment. I'm going to close this window out so we can see what we have. You'll notice Flubrew added a new sheet to our existing spreadsheet, and this is where all the grades are. I have all sorts of grade information, including the total number of points possible, the average number that the students achieved, how many submissions were counted, and how many low-scoring questions there were. Here are each of the students' names and emails, and how many points they got out of the total of eight, including a percentage, how many times they submitted the quiz, and whether or not the responses were emailed to them. It also tells you whether they earned a point or not for each of the questions, so you can quickly see which questions were challenging for students. Furthermore, it has even highlighted in red the students who scored less than 70%. I can change that 70% in the Flubrew settings if necessary. Now let's say I want to automatically email each of the students the responses to the quiz. I can do that very easily. Tap on Add-ons in Flubaroo and Share Grades. We want to send the results to each student's email address. We could also share them via Google Drive, but I'm going to stick with email for now. Do we want to include a list of the questions and the scores? Yes. Do I include the answer key? Yes. And we can even include a message. And tap Continue. Flubrew will automatically email the results to each student. So that's how you can create a quick assessment which will be automatically graded using Google Forms and Flubrew. One more quick thing. A lot of people are using Google Classroom to manage their classrooms these days. Well, you can easily use these Flubrew graded quizzes in Google Classroom. Here's how. Tap on the Send button in the form and go to the link, shorten it so you have a shorter URL to work with, and copy that link. Now we can go into our Google Classroom and create a new assignment. And I'm going to attach that link directly to the form to this assignment. Don't forget to tap the Add button and assign it to your class. Now students will be able to click on that link to access the quiz, complete it online, and you can grade it using Flubrew. And once it's graded, you can enter the grades manually into Google Classroom or whatever gradebook you are using.